Hi everybody, it's me, Nick Avocado. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing Sonic with a twist, and we are also going to be discussing everything, okay? I have been thinking about this long and hard, and I just need to talk to you. So, but while we're doing that, we're going to be eating Beloved Seafood Sauce and Sonic drive through We have our hot dogs. We have our tots. We have so much food. I don't know if it's going to combine well with Beloved Sauce, but I just did a seafood boil and I barely used it. I'm like, I want to eat it more because it's so delicious. Anyway, let's just talk. Let's just talk. So if you're not, if you don't want to hear me talk, then just fast forward to my take bites. But I feel like everyone should probably hear this. I have messed up a lot over the past six months. <laughs> I have messed up my whole life, actually. Let's take that back. My whole life has been bad. I, ha I am, this past week or two especially has been, I just need to apologize for everything. And I'm gonna be answering your specific questions on my Twitter. I just made a tweet literally two hours ago. And I'm like, you guys ask me questions. I'll shout you out, but I'll also do my best to answer them. Hi, <laughs> I'm gonna stick this into my video. I don't know where I'm gonna stick. Oh my God, it looks so bad. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm gonna stick that. I know avocados extra. Listen, that's totally my personality. And we're gonna talk about that. So I'm gonna stick this into the video. This wasn't deliberately chopped up. I swear I'm not planning to make you like confused or anything. I'm actually gonna insert this somewhere where it makes sense, maybe in the beginning or in the middle. I don't know. But I just had to turn on the camera right now. It's in real time. You're gonna see this video tomorrow, February 16th. And um, I went to therapy today. <sighs> wow. Um, first of all, I'm very lucky to have a therapist on Sundays. Second of all, I'm lucky to have such a grounded, smart person. I talked about it in yesterday's video on my third channel, how it's just like, people, f I didn't think I needed it. I always said, oh, I'm very analytical and thought provoking. And I like to, even though I don't appear that way on YouTube, that's also my character. I just, um, I, I'm very analytical and stuff, but it, I never, it took me by surprise the fact that there's someone else that could be offering you insight to things that you would have thought of initially and you're not as smart as yourself and sometimes you have to hear it from someone else. Um, so anyways, I wanted to turn on the camera today because we had such a productive time and I want to say for the record, he does watch my YouTube channel. He doesn't watch my channel. Well, I don't know. Maybe he does now. Um, we've only met a couple of times, but he's aware of what I do. And it's funny because I have seen in the comments, you guys are like, Nick needs a therapist. Nick needs a therapist for his therapist. And then Nick needs a therapist for his therapist therapist. <laughs> you know, to imply that I'm that broken and train wreck, which is, you know, kind of true. But today he looked at me and he pulled open my thumbnails, my uh, my YouTube for, for Nick Akato 3 and was like, why are you doing this? Um... And I'm just like, I'm mad. I don't care anymore. He goes, but will this help you? And I said, in a way, it gets my name out there. It makes people talk even more. And he's like, but how do you come out of it? And I said, I don't know. So I told him that my YouTube channel is very just raw and real. It's, if I'm upset, I grab the camera. If I'm mad, I grab the camera. If I'm sad, I'm already sad. If I'm farting, I'll leave it in. Like, it's very just in the moment, and life is fluctuations. Like, the beginning of the day, I could be happy. The middle of the day, I could fight with Orlin. I'm so sad. I gotta film, gotta post. It's my schedule. Rain or shine, I show up to work. And then the videos contrast to how I'm gonna feel two hours later after I've digested. It doesn't help that I'm eating really unhealthy food that also throw off my hormones and the chemicals in my brain. I'm literally frying my brain over here, <laughs> you know? So there's so many variables to my channel, but also I am an entertainer on top of it. I have always loved to make people laugh. I've always been the class clown. And before you say like, well, what you have been doing lately isn't funny, I know. I'm not trying to say it is, but there's an element of what do you say? I mean, I've already talked about this on my channel, but I need to put it in a video where people are just like, okay, like in the title or something. It's gonna be like, I'm sorry. So the people need to hear this. For example, when I bought that <laughs> hotel room, that is an obvious joke. I like to play with the viewers in that sense. And then the next day I lost my home, it got smushed. I mean, 
It sounds funny. I mean, I get excited creating content, whether it's silly to you or not, it's subjective. Um, but I also know what I'm doing. Everyone thought I was the villain for something that happened months ago. Mo two months ago, you know, months ago. And I said to myself, if I'm the villain, then I'm gonna be the villain. And I kind of got out of control with it. And through that process, it actually made me more out of control. And mentally, I was already out of control because I haven't been sleeping. I am in a really interesting relationship that goes up and down all the time. Um, I'm also kind of alone here, I have no friends. I mean, I don't know any other YouTubers in Orlando. I am just kinda, um, it's been hard for me both on camera and off camera. And before you say, you aren't the one who suffered, you know, everybody suffers and the people who are causing suffering are suffering themselves. And you don't need me to tell you that. You might've heard that from a friend or someone at work. You just Google it, it's an expression. They say hurt people hurt people. Um, so I've been hurting and I've been spiraling out of control and I could see myself coming out of control and I, then I actually couldn't control myself and then me and Orlin are fighting more and then I'm just, it's kind of strange because it's like, oh my God, there's content, let me record it. And I'm like, what am I doing to my relationship? Why would I record something so private? Um, I took the role of the villain and the train wreck and the reality show. I mean, I've always had that element. Look at day one of this channel, <laughs> or I don't know which channels is gonna go on, um, all my channels. I, I have an element of controversy or playing the viewers up or also just being really emotional and very easily ticked. So a lot of it is just very much who I am. Like, I don't have to try to be dramatic. I'm already extra. It just, <laughs> look how extra I am wearing a shirt like this. But it's so fitting. I mean, it doesn't actually fit me. I'm kind of overweight. Ooh, ooh, we need a bra. <laughs> um, it doesn't actually fit me, but it's very fitting for who I am. Um, ask people who know me in real life. They'd say, like, he's nice. He's very down to earth. He's a lot calmer off camera. He's very intellectual and stuff. And it always shocks people when they hear it. Um, because I am... <sighs> I do show those sides to me. People know that side of me, but also I'm five dimensional. It's not one dimensional. So I'm gonna show various angles of who I am. But also I know that it's entertainment and I'm doing things deliberately to get a rise out of people, such as I bought a house or I'm getting fat and I don't know why. Like, do you think, like ask yourself honestly, do you think that I don't know? And I guess I'm doing a good job because people are like, he's so delusional, he's so crazy. He has, and I'm like, wow. So it's a it's a mixture of both. It's who I am naturally. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm naturally dramatic though. I'm like, that's the other thing that people say. Oh, he's nice, he's calm, he's sweet, he's intellectual, but oh, he's a firecracker. Oh, you don't, you don't know what he's gonna say next. He's kind of like, you don't know what's gonna happen. Um, which could be, you know, a bad thing. I mean, it's bad in my relationship. It's bad with my friendships. Um, thank God I have people who have been by my side thick and thin. I mean, you know, I just, I'm a firecracker. I'm dramatic. I am crazy, naturally too. So it's just kind of like, I'm pushing it on camera and also I'm naturally that way. And I just kind of feel badly because when he asked me, how are you gonna come out of this? I said, I don't know. And this has been, what, two days since I did that uh, interview with Keemstar and Leafy? Leafy is here. And we talked, I already talked about this in my YouTube video on my third channel. I'm gonna put this on my main channel. And uh, I told you that we talked for like 40 minutes. Um, what you saw on Keemstar's video was only like five minute phone call or something. We talked a lot and they, both of them were very nice and genuine and like kind of concerned for me. They're like, we don't know what to believe. Some of it seems real, some of it doesn't. We know you're joking things up, but also we're concerned for you because it, it really does look like you're in a bad space and you need to come out of it. And um, Leafy said monetize an apology video. <laughs> you know, like, this is not really an apology video. Like this is a mukbang too. I'm gonna have uh, whatever. I need to have a sit down official thing. Um, but I also, as you're gonna hear in this video, I'm kind of confused on how to 
approach various things. One thing, um, I have a lawyer and other people have lawyers and there's not gonna be another word spoken about that. It doesn't matter what I feel and think or what happened or my truth, which I've already kind of put out there. There's, there's more of the story and I'm not saying anything and I just can't and people don't understand that. It's like people are expecting all of this information from me and what about this and what about this? It's like, I can't say anything. I can't and I'm not going to. But there's also other things. I mean, that was months ago. This video's not even about that anymore. It's like that happened, but it spiraled into like this and this and people from my past and some things are true and some things are not true and things have been spun and there's things that are also very embarrassing because it is a reflection of flaws to who I am and I need to talk about them and come clean and I feel like I have in some videos but people don't watch like Keemstar said he's like Nick your videos are 40 minutes long you could have apologized 15 times in that one video but you did it at the 20 minute mark like uh, you know and it's it's just it's just so much so I just I wanted to put this in here because my therapist was like, how are you gonna come out of this and why did you do this? And for him to ask me why, I felt like a viewer would ask me that too. You know you're in the hot plate, you know that people are... It, I've crossed a line, you guys. I have crossed a line from being entertaining and trolling and oh, I bought a house, oh my God, he's having a meltdown, oh, he's shaving his head, ha 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 You know, like things are, to like, oh, this, this hurts somebody or I did that and that was wrong, or this person says this and part of it's true and I need to address it, or, um, you know what I mean? Like, I have spiraled out of control, um, and I don't want to blame it on my brain or my diet, but I'm making effort. Well, you're going to, I'm going to talk about this video. I'm going to make, I am making effort. I really want to just grow from this. Um, and also let you know that there's also things that I do on purpose. I mean, because it's the internet and I like to have fun. I mean, obviously you might not think it's innocent, but everyone thinks I'm a liar. I mean, one of the big things that people are saying, I'm a liar because of the house thing. It's like, but I've done it before, it was a joke. I thought, I don't know. I don't know how I'm able to honor that side of who I am and express myself in that way because it's enjoyment for me, it's funny. Um, without making people upset and I feel like as long as I'm like, it's not about other people or targeting other people, um, or responding to other people, I feel like at least I'm safe that way because I can sleep at night knowing that, okay, well, if people are hurt, they're hurt because they're hurt. It's not like I, hey, this person's this, B -d 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 -d. you know, I'm not going after my viewers. I'm saying, hey, I did, you know. I mean, I have, that's the thing, that's been my retaliation, that's been my defense, where I'm just like so upset because it's such a co combination of emotions, like the co things, and then the K-pop things, and then the BTS stuff, and then now the house drama, and then the parody channels drama, and it's just so many different things, and it's an element of me needing to be, to be medicated, which I am now, as of like literally a couple days ago. It's an element of me needing to talk things out, which I am. It's not as often as I want. Um, it's an element of me needing to approach my diet because what I eat does affect my brain. Um, it's an element of me having behavioral issues that I need to really work on. It's an element of me trolling for the camera because it gets people talking. The more people talk about me, the more I grow. Whether they're negative videos or not, it pushes my name in the algorithm, Nikocado Avocado. My channel just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Even if people are leaving, it's like they're coming back or they're being brought in from other people who don't know me yet. It's kind of like, and then it's an element of me knowing that everyone thinks I'm the victim, or not the victim, the villain, and then me saying, well, if I'm the villain, let me be the villain. I have no, I know who I am, I have no problem doing something, you know, it's like, it's all of those things combined. Like I'm mentally not well, I'm physically not well. I'm frying my brain, my relationship isn't good. I'm naturally extra and emotional, but I also have a lot of flaws to who I am and I've made some mistakes. And then I've also exaggerated stuff because I know I've got a reaction, but YouTube, you know, it spreads my channel when people make more videos about me. And it's like, it goes even further. It's, it's kind of a mess. And my therapist was like, why don't you just tell your viewers that? 
follow my Twitter at Nikocado Avocado, and if you do, I might just follow you back. I also don't want to sit here and be like, I'm sorry for everything I've ever done in my whole life, because I feel like that's just not fair. Everyone makes mistakes, everyone repeats mistakes, well not everyone, but a lot of people repeat this mistakes, I'm one of those people, and um, I also, there's a lot that you guys don't know, and I haven't spoken about with various things, and I really want to do that for you guys. While also eating Sonic, because I love Sonic. So I hope that you can take the next 30 minutes of your day. Happy Sunday, happy Monday. I think this is gonna come out Monday. Um, I don't know, but I don't know if it's gonna come out today. But anyway, I just want, what? That's very strange. My receipt says I'm supposed to get 36 cents change, but they didn't give me any change. What? That's very strange to me. <laughs> Because I pay with my card. What does that mean? I paid with my card. Uh-huh. And then at the bottom it says change. 36 cents. I don't understand what that's for. Do you guys know? Should I show you my receipt? Speaking of receipts, um, I got a letter in the mail that says I am being paid $1 and what was it? 27 cents. Something like that. $1 and 27 cents for the TV episode I did. Now that's not obviously everything, but I do wanna say people, and I don't wanna speak for everyone, but in my experience and some of my, I don't wanna say coworker, my peers or my friends who have also done TV, people assume like if you're on TV, you're making like tens of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars. I, I didn't even make a thousand dollars. I mean, it, you know what I mean? Like. Unless you are the star of the movie, star of the show, unless you're the host or whatever, or unless, well, yeah, or you could be like a co-star or like a background person, but you are famous, you know, you're Whoopi Goldberg and I don't care if she's picking up leaves in the background, like, uh, who knows, or if she's just like the, the, some, you know, the background dancer or something, like, she's gonna charge you a million dollars to be in your show, so. Um, and you're gonna pay it because you want Whoopi Goldberg. I see, I am just a crazy person. <laughs> I'm just a guy who eats on the internet and is trying to find his way in the world. And I'm really not worth anything special. I'm really not worth... So anyways, but most people are not because it, you have to be a big name or the lead of the role, lead of the show. So I just wanted to thought that. It was really funny. Speaking of receipts, looking at this receipt here, I was, I was like, 36 cents. Like that's, that's what I got paid for 2019 for being on a certain show. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. Um, what else is going on in my life before we get everything set up? I should just get everything set up now, but ooh. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more seafood and I've talked to you guys as to why I wanna start doing more seafood and that's for my health. Um, I really don't want to have any kind of like issues with my heart and um, seafood is the best thing to combat heart disease. That and vegetables and fruits, of course. And yes, you're di dipping it into butter, but I'm not drinking it, I'm dipping it. And it's still, if you add up all the butter I'm eating from a meal, it might be a tablespoon or two, but I'm eating all that seafood. So I am doing more seafood boils which I really should be doing anyway, just because everyone wants them, they get a lot of views, every, they're family friendly, you know what I mean? Like everyone loves seafood boils. But um, for whatever reason, the past month or two, I haven't done a single one. Actually, I haven't done one for two or three months. I mean, I just, I don't know, I just haven't done one. So I'm gonna start getting back to those. People have been asking for them and I'm just like, I'm gonna eat Taco Bell. You know what it is? It's laziness. It's laziness. I don't like to cook, even though I don't really have to do much except just like steam it or boil it with some, what you would call it, um, Cajun sauce. I still consider that work. Okay, I'm kind of lazy, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. Gosh, my nose is itching so bad, and it wasn't itching before the camera went on. Uh, I saw a tweet by somebody, who was it? Some famous person, they're like, everyone picks their nose. I shouldn't do it on camera though. Oh, uh, see, this is this is just crazy Nikocado, picking his nose on camera like it's no big deal. It really shouldn't be a big deal, but I guess it is. I dropped this too, so a lot of the, a lot of the stuff is coming out. Ooh, I'm gonna rip it, here we go. So more seafood boils are on the way. I'm not gonna, I'm not no seafood king or, ooh. I'm not a seafood king or anything like that, but I do enjoy some seafood boil, and I'm gonna start doing them. Oh my gosh. Ah. 
I was actually gonna do one for this channel today because I just did one on my third channel um, yesterday. I'm like, I should do more seafood. And I'm like, why well, don't I do two seafoods in one day? You know, I need a little variety and I'm kind of craving some fried food, but um, after this, I will be going on my treadmill. Okay, so I am trying to take a new approach to my life right now. A, medication. I am on day four of new medication. B, I've got a CPAP machine yesterday, two days ago. Today's gonna be my first day wearing it. If you don't know what that is, it's oxygen that gets pumped into your face while you sleep so that your brain can recharge and heal and actually reap, uh, reach REM sleep, which is what heals your brain and for memory, for mood, for concentration, for literally, if you're not getting proper sleep, you're not truly yourself or you're not the best version of yourself. Or in some cases like me, where I got my sleep test back and the physician was like, you wake up it, your brain wakes up over a hundred times every night. A hundred times I'm being disrupted and I sleep alone. I don't even sleep with my husband. We're on separate ends of the apartment. I sleep alone. So there's that. So I'm addressing medication. I'm addressing, uh, which again, I don't know if you're gonna notice any differences in my mukbangs going forward. From taking medication, I really don't wanna tell you because I know I'm gonna be ridiculed and um, I don't know. For, you'd think I would tell you because I tell you everything, but there's something, I don't know. I just, you know, all medicines have side effects and stuff and I don't want people, I don't want that. I, I just kinda, I want you to know that I have various people in my life helping me and I have various tools in my life to help me fix all the things that are going on. And some of them are out of my control. I mean, look, I'm not going to say that everything that has happened last week was 100% my fault. I definitely still believe that, um, that there are things that are happening that are not very nice and not 100% the truth and things that are being um, twisted. But, but, as I talked to Keemstar and Leafy the other day, they're like, but how you're reacting isn't helping it. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, you're not helping. And I, I think that's true. I haven't been making videos to help myself or to do anything. I've just given everyone the finger because I've gotten to a point where I don't care, but I actually do care, which is why I'm making this video. This is my life. This is, oh, they're still hot and steamy. I love YouTube. I love making videos. I love being here with you guys. And um, I wouldn't give it up for anything in the world. I don't care what happens. This feels like my driving force. This feels like something that I was made to do. I've always wanted to be in front of the camera. You know what I mean? Like I, um, I feel like I'm missing stuff. Ah. I'm gonna have to do the bam. Let's do the bam thing, but. So yes, we're approaching. Um, I'm on medication right now. Um, I'm gonna have my first night's sleep tonight with the, the oxygen tank. I don't know if it's actually oxygen. It's called CPAP. It's actually a, it's not a BiPAP. I might have to get one of those, but. So it's that plus that plus, um, I'm going back on the treadmill every day. And it's very strange because the uh, now that I'm back in my routine of being on the treadmill, I've been noticing really heart flutters and heart palpitations. It feels like it gets pinched. And it's only happened ever since I started doing that exercise, which really scares me. Um, but the doctor said it's a double-edged sword. Like, yeah, it could like cause some problems and it's a clear indication that you're not healthy. But to remove the plaque slowly or to make your heart stronger, you have to do it. So by doing it, it can cause issues. By not doing it, it can cause issues. But by doing it, you're going to slowly over time remove those issues regardless of your diet. Um, so anyways, I'm not gonna be eating as much. That's another thing I really need to stop eating as much, um, more like taste tests, kind of like stuff Papa, she, she never, she gets like two things anyway. You know, it's, it's, it doesn't have to be a gluttonous show. It doesn't have to be. I love food, so it's always treated that way, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it doesn't have to be that way. So that's that. I'm also, um, we're going back to daily uh, omega-3 rich either sardines or salmon. 
99% of the time it's salmon head, so I did the other day and it made me so sick. I just have to do the same, uh, which is so crazy because I was all about those canned sardines, remember? But now for whatever reason, I told you in my video yesterday on my third channel. Um, so there's that plus the at least three groups of vegetables daily. Um, and I eat two avocados a day right now. So I don't know if you saw my Instagram or I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna put it up yet. I really need to. But I just got 40 avocados in this place. I put them in a big bucket. I have 40 avocados. I'm doing two a day. And they're good for lowering cholesterol. Um, it's a good source of fiber. Potassium, which is also good for your heart to pump out some of the excess sodium. Potassium, sodium, they work together. Um, and they're just delicious and they're just so versatile and they can go on salads and burritos. I like to eat them by themselves, so. That's where the YouTube money is going. It's going to my avocados. <laughs> That's literally $40 right there. Um, which, I mean, I think it's still very good because I know some people have to pay two or three dollars for one avocado and I'm like, ah. And I lived in Colombia and I used to get three for a dollar. And there's people paying three dollars for one. And it's the same thing. Um, what else is going on in my life? So that's what's happening. Medication, um, I'm gonna be hooked up to a machine at night now. Um, and I have doctors, gonna be, they're gonna be watching. They're gonna be watching my sleep. If I'm hitting REM sleep, if I'm being disturbed, how my breathing is, if they have to increase the pressure going into my face. Um, <clears throat> and with all those things, diet and exercise, not eating as much, doing more seafood boils. The last big thing is taking accountability and let's get everything set up. Let's begin the show. One, two, three, bam. Okay, so as you can see, this is a massive display. Hey, let's get started with the show. We've done enough talking, enough chit chat. Um, that was a very long intro, but I really want to talk to you guys. So, mmm, we have our mozzarella. Now, I do like my mozzarella sticks with ranch. So, some McDonald's ranch down over here. So many new requests on my Twitter because they all want to ask me questions. Oh my god. <clears throat> I'm not, you know, I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Here, you can't even see me. Did I overbuy again? The total cost of, oh, was $25. Oh, there goes a, let's put this down. I do like it with this. Let's just start answering all of your questions in the order that they appear. I also like this with syrup, it's so good. Mmm. So two hours ago, about 300 questions. And by the way, it's one in the morning. So maybe I should have done this a different time, but I just toast it. Shout out to James. How have you really been? I have been emotionally, physically, mentally, not well. How do you pick out the best avocados? This comes from Taita. I like to find, you're talking about Haas avocados. I like the longer oval shapes, like an egg. They tend to have better flavor. I don't know why. What do you miss the most from your life? This comes from Kayla King. Hi, Kayla. I miss, um, what do I miss? Something I had and I lost. Thank God I haven't lost Orlin because I think that would be the final straw for me. <laughs> Such a nice guy. By the way, his OnlyFans is getting more popular than mine. Orlin! Holy moly, he's gonna be the next... Huh. <laughs> Mm. Cheers, we got some water back here. Um, I can't think of anything right now. Can you explain what Bee Loves sauce tastes like? Um, it ta let's do, here we go! Oh my gosh, look at that. I didn't even, let's do, what should we dip in there? An onion ring. It's butter. It's spicy. It tastes like spicy. Look, another OnlyFans. Go back, okay. 
Um, I would have shown you, but I don't want that person had their name. I don't want to embarrass anybody. It's boys and girls over there. Anyway, no question today. Love you. Shout out, ba baby, Kato, Jamie. Can I send you ROM? This comes from Jeanette. Um, I don't have a PO box, so no, maybe in the future. This comes from Brittany. Hey, Brittany, you've been on my Twitter a lot. She says, have you ever eaten real sourdough bread from San Francisco? No. Now, these are the people I follow, I think. Yeah. All these people I follow, and that's why they're all nice. I think they're going to get really bad soon. <laughs> Let's go where they're all likes. Here we go. Here we go. Wow, I follow all these people. Wow. I follow a lot. All these people in the beginning, I follow. All of them. I mean, I made a promise. Follow me, I'll follow you back. I mean, I keep going. All of them. So, the bad comments. This one has 72 likes. I just saw it. Let's get to the bad comments. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, let's begin. I can't say that word on YouTube. Okay, I also don't want to respond to that because I just had a meeting with my manager from Google and we're looking into it. So that's all I'm saying. Um, it was not false. And we are pursuing what we need to. That's that. That's all I'm gonna say at this point. But it was made on decision of a few people. Have you seen the movie Parasite? This, well, that first, the last question was um, JP Metz. I'm sorry I couldn't really answer. Um, I will when it's over. It's not over. Have you seen the movie Parasite? This comes from Mar Maria. No. That's my ego. Hello. It says, are you going to eat on your channel? Or do you like to just throw your food in the heat in the moment? Do I throw my food? I mean, I guess sometimes when I'm really upset, I have in the past. I feel like with this angle, I need a bib. <laughs> do you like jazz? This comes from Zexy Cracked. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Let's do my Coney. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. One more bite. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. This is my favorite thing on their menu. And their French toast sticks. Oh. Wow. Mmm. Here I go. Mm. Wanna come help me finish this? Ooh. Here's a question. Were you ever in drama class in high school? I bet you got some kick butt rewards. This comes from Kiwi Girl. Oh, you mean like awards for being a good actor? No, I did um it wasn't an elective, it was um something in middle school. Where it's something they had once a quarter, so it was only three, no, four times, because there's four quarters at the school year. Four times, it was like, I forget what they called it. It was a random thing. It was like an extracurricular activity. I <laughs> can't say the word. Just some kind of little activity for the kids. Yeah, why not? Into the bee love sauce. Here we go. With that onion. Oh, oh, oh. And I did drama class. My mom said I should do it. That's my <laughs> My mom's like, you should do the drama class. Oh, it was my mom's decision. She's like, you, you should do drama class. That was, that was the last thing she ever told me. You should do drama class. And it sucked because it was like five people. I was the only boy. And the teacher was this... Very, like, 
mashed potatoes personality, very like boring, no butter, no salt, just blah, blah, blah. Took her like, you know, an hour just to get out of the chair. No energy, and I'm not making fun of her. She wasn't even that overweight. I'm not even, nothing to do with the weight. I mean like, low energy. I was just watching Joe Biden the other day. Oh, sorry, not talking about, well, this is not about policy. I wanna feel excited. It has nothing to do with age. There's people who are 70 who are on fire with energy. I watched Joe Biden, who's running for president on The View. I literally thought he was going to take a nap. Oh, no, no, no. He's a, you know, people like him, he, whatever. People think he's a really sweet guy. I'm sure that's true, but I don't know. It, you have to feel excited. Anyway, this drama, t I mean, if you're running a drama class and you're as entertaining or emotional or enthusiastic as a bland baked potato. We should be teaching Grumble Cuff. And all we did was sit around and read Little Women, the script. We didn't act, we didn't get up, we just sat there and read. Oh. Very bad. And that's the only drama thing I ever did. Never did that again. I never did any kind of um, plays or musicals. I would play violin for a lot of stuff. But I was never on stage. You'd think I would want to be, but I wasn't. Shout out to you, keep your girl. When are you gonna get back to the old Nick? This comes from S.L. Cheapo. <laughs> Hi, I love your name. <sighs> Today. Uh there you go, that's the old dick. Clumsy as ever. <sighs> Today. Today you have the old Nick back. <sighs> oh, I got on my shirt. It'll come out in the wash. I do want to say, I just want to say that, <clears throat> and this is of no surprise, people talk about all the time. Oh, he does things for attention. There are some days where I am super, super mad. And I was trying to explain this to Keemstar. Because I was talking to him on the phone with Leafy, and we talked for like 45 minutes. And they're just like, you're so different off your video. And I'm like, but I'm not making a video. And they're like, exactly. And then he's like, oh, so it's all an act. I'm like, no, it's not an act. Here's the thing. I'm alone in a room. There's no one listening to me. There's no one watching me except for Siri. <laughs> and if I'm just had a fight with Orlin or I just had bad news or I'm having you know something sad in my life, I'm gonna express it because it's so easy to. Just rolls off the tip of my tongue. But if I have five people watching me or listening to me, of course I'm gonna be more reserved. It doesn't mean I'm fake. It doesn't mean I'm acting. It means that I'm human. How you act in front of your mom is not how you're gonna act in front of your best friend. And how you inf act in front of your teacher is not how you're gonna act in front of your girlfriend or boyfriend. You have different sides to you. You know when to like put something on the down low, crank something up because you're with your, your best girl, hey. Oh yeah, and you're just obnoxious and disgusting, but it's it, you're always disgusting with that girl. Are you fake or do you have multiple personalities? No, it just means you know you're just human. And when I come here, all of those personalities are on the table. <laughs> like if I'm calm, if I'm collective, if I'm um, introspective, if I'm thought provoking, if I'm obnoxious, if I am rude, and I have been very rude lately, um, and I haven't, again, I've been, uh, with the whole Kobe Bryant thing and the K-poppers and the BTS, and I didn't deal with that in a good way. And I also didn't know how to do, deal with it because no matter what I said, people weren't gonna like me. So I decided, I'm just gonna, if I'm the monster, oh, let me give them the monster. 
And that was my way of dealing with it because what else am I supposed to do? I'm, I... So I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for egging people on in that sense. And I'm very sorry for, um, I should have just ignored it. I mean, I, I was ignoring it. I should have just said my opinion and left it at that. I shouldn't have responded again and again. And the Kobe Bryant thing, I, right hand, I know it's my left hand, right hand up to God. Oh, I did not know who he was. Never heard of him in my life. You name any sport player, I'm not going to know a thing about them. I just don't know. And that was the first time I heard of him. And Kobe, spelled that way, was the first. It's not a common name. I never, it wasn't some, I can barely even remember someone I meet five times. I'm like, what, remind, even Trailer Trash Tammy, I still call, I, I still sometimes I think, is it Craig or Greg? I called him Craig for so long. Like, I'm not the best with names. I, and it wasn't deliberate. I just, Heard about it, I thought it was so tragic. I felt sorry, and I literally sat there and I said, wow, people are adoring, adoring this person. He must have been so great. Wow, I watched one clip of him on Twitter. He seemed like a really good man. Wow, he has this energy you can really resonate in your soul. Oh man, his daughter, I feel bad. And all those things I said went out the window because I didn't know his name. And should I have taken the phone and made sure I knew his name, I should have. I should have just done it. It didn't occur to me. And that's where I messed up. It didn't occur to me to say, edit this out, let's not, I don't want anyone to get mad at me. Kobe Bryant, oh, okay, cause I, I just, I didn't have the self-awareness to know that there's a lot of people who are hurting with his thing and, um, and, I'm not dismissing it by saying thing. I don't want to say the word because, again, I don't want this video to be blocked with... It's so, how YouTube is now. You can't even talk really half the time. So, I should have just looked it up. I'm sorry. I was very defensive because people thought my intention was to deliberately not know his name. And I'll take it to the grave. I To this day, I mean, I didn't even research him afterwards. I don't know the first thing about him other than that he was... A basketball player and that he had a daughter and they had an accident and he seemed nice. That's all I know. I And that's why I was on the defense because truly for my intentions it was not If I wanted to make a scene I would have put it in the title like I did for other things If I wanted to make a scene I would have put it in the tags to make it get millions of views from all the other videos being made about him I didn't I didn't even know people would talk about it. I woke up to a surprise where everyone was saying that I disrespected him. And I was like, what? And since I was on that defense, I never had the self-awareness to say, wow, people, sorry, people are really hurting right now and I'm giving them the middle finger. So I'm sorry for that. I didn't handle that in a good way. And about K-pop, K-boppers, K-poppers. I know it's technically K-poppers. Sometimes I say K-boppers, because in America we say bop, like, oh, that's a good bop, I'm a bopper. My mom used to, uh, when I used to go to these bands, high school bands, she'd be like, oh, where's all the um, kitty boppers? Bopper, it just means like you're a groupie. It's my fault because I egged them on, and I didn't know how to deal with what I was dealing with. Um, and I thought, well, let me just fight fire with fire. And not to say that all of them were giving me fire. It was just something I was getting spammed with repeatedly for many months. Um, and I didn't know how to deal with it. I've never been, I didn't know how to deal with it. And so I become very defensive and very react, reacting. As you can see, it's a, it's the same thing with the Kobe Bryant. It's very just like, oh shoot, I well f you, like boom. I snap. It's just intense, and um again, I'm not thinking how I'm probably hurting people when they say, when they hear me say they're mushroom haircuts. At the end of the day, I don't care for their haircut, but I really don't need to call it a food item, you know. And people are like, oh, he has a McDonald's hairline. I know I do. For me, that doesn't really bother me, but that's just me. There's things that bother me that might not bother you. It's a, 
problem of self-awareness that I have, clearly, because I'm like, well, if it doesn't bother me, it's not gonna bother you. And then something I get very bothered by, it's like, everyone should be bothered by it too. It's like, that's not the case, we're human, we all have things that really get us. And I'm really kind of bunching everyone into one group. I mean, there's people who like K-pop who are not Korean, who don't even speak the language, they just like the music or the dancing. I mean, and I really just lump them all into the thing. And I honestly have nothing against Asian people. I mean, some people made it about race and I, I wish it didn't happen because it's not about that. It's not about, I'm superior because I'm white and they're not, like, or they're still white, but you know, it doesn't matter. It's like, what they say, technically yellow, I don't know. It's just, it's not about superiority based on that. And people are like, oh, but you did talk about their parents, you talked about their haircuts. I was, that's different, like, that's something in your control, it's a style, it's like, your clothing, your hair, your makeup, your haircut, those are things that you can control. You cannot control how you're born with the color of your skin or how tall you are or your sexuality, things like that. Um, what am I trying to say? I made a very clear distinction that I'm not going after the, a culture or something, but I also had, I failed to realize that K-pop is their culture and it's something that really excites them and i know i said i said i try I, I, that's the thing i try i try to see where people are coming from and i know i said it in the first video and i also said it in the second video where i was like i can see where people are getting that excitement um but that was what 50 minutes later after i called them mushroom heads and stupid and idiots and all that kind of stuff i'm sorry that's obnoxious that's juvenile that is immature and you know what, is that gonna make people like me any more or less? It's gonna make them like, like me less. And even if I feel I'm right, or if I'm feeling that I am defending myself from some of, not all of them, some of them, I still kinda, it's just not a good look. And um, I don't know, you know what, you know what really got to me too? I had some of my viewers and I thought they were kind of trolling, but I've seen it a, co a couple of times on my Instagram where they have K-pop BTS as their profile photo on Instagram. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to click on it. But I, read, I look at the preview of their message and they're like, I'm such a big fan. I've been watching you since, you know, you sent off in the house and the lights turned off and it was the ghost and you got the cinnamon to make the ghost go out. Like very specific things that only a true viewer would have known. Or one guy talked about the bicycle incident that happened in Colombia. Another person was like, I've been watching you since the vegan days. I remember when you went to Thailand and had fruit. And I'm like, those videos have been deleted for years. And no one talks about those videos either. So clearly this is a real viewer. And all of these, it was just like a handful of people throughout like a week and they're like, I love you, or at least I thought I did, but I feel so hurt that you dislike me because I am a K-popper or I'm a BTS <clears throat> stan. Um, and I could, I didn't, I mean, I didn't talk to anybody on the phone, I didn't look at their face, but just through their texts, <clears throat> I had to sit down in my bed and read it and say, they're hurting because of what I said and they're feeling lumped into something they never did to me and they were supporting me but they happen to love BTS and they have it as their um it just it made me really hate myself for making good people upset if that makes sense it made me really it made me very sad to know that I was causing people pain from what I was saying, whether it was directly or indirectly, etc. Um, and how I've been dealing with it is saying, well, I'm already hated, I don't care, whatever. And that's kind of been my attitude on the internet for the past week or two. And that's not really me. That's a shield. And that's also me putting on a show. And 
I mean, I know it works. People talk about me, people spread my name, people make videos, and then I would rub it in their face. Oh yeah, spread my name. But deep down, um, I was hurting. And I just wish I could take that back. I wish I could go back in time because I don't want to hurt people in general. And unfortunately, I'm so selfish and conceited that I only got that click once I heard it from my own fans who said, Oh, Mr. Roberto and Miss Kitty and Mr. Noodle from Colombia. Oh, I've been a fan for so long. My favorite video of yours was the, the Galaxy Rainbow Quesadilla after you went to that nature park in Cartagena and Colombia. And I'm like, oh my God, these are real viewers who have been here for years who are now so disappointed with me. And I have no one to blame but myself. And that's just a bad feeling to know that, like, I hate myself. Um, like, I just hate myself a lot lately. And how I've been dealing with it is by being aggressive and being crude and saying I don't care, but I do care. Um, like I say, everyone has sides to them. Everybody has sides. And you see lots of different sides to me. You don't see just happy... I'm not going to force it, you know? That's just always been my philosophy on the internet. I don't want to force it. But the fact that I've been so upset and angry and just also so selfish and so egotistical that I can't see what I'm doing to make things worse. I'm like tripping my own feet and I'm just tripping and I'm falling down and I'm tripping myself again and again and I keep tripping myself and then I, I just, I hate myself and and then I just blame others because it's so much easier and it's just, I was, I'm like, well, I never have to see these people. It's just the internet, whatever. But it's not worth it to me because deep down I... I feel, I feel deep down <sighs> I just am embarrassed. And I'm not, this is not a good apology. That's also why I've been afraid to say something because it's also excuses. I mean, I am sorry and I'm telling you that I'm not happy with how I behave on the internet sometimes and, but I'm also, I feel like I need to tell you why and give you my perspective, but then it comes across as an excuse. But then if I don't tell you, how do you know? Then you think I'm just fully off the rock or deranged and I don't, I'm, I'm not, but I don't know. I don't know what I need to say to make people feel better other than I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Um, and I don't know. I've been taking the appropriate channels to get better um, with actual medication and with actual like sleeping aids and actual changes to my life. And so it's not just like, oh, I'll try. No, we're gonna stop eating as much or we're gonna stop, um, we're gonna go on that treadmill every day regardless or we are going to um, let people know that I messed up here with the Kobe Bryant thing and how I reacted and I made things worse and I, re I messed things up with the K-pops and I overreacted and I made things worse for myself. I made worse for myself. Um, and it's just from my perspective, I feel like the whole world wants me to just 
disappear from the internet. Like, there's no room for me. And obviously, of course, they're gonna feel that way because look at how I behave. Um, and so I also feel like people were c trying to push me off of the internet. And I don't want to leave the internet. I'd rather just make changes so that people can appreciate me here. And I don't, I don't know if I've actually truly ever been appreciated on the internet because of my antics or my ways or my exaggerations or my lies or my personality, even my looks. I don't feel like, um, have I really been, I don't know. I mean, I think to like my closest followers, they say they appreciate me and I know they do, but it's a drop in the bucket and I'm just, you know, when I'm off of my channel, whether it's on PewDiePie's channel or Keemstar's channel or drama channels or reactions or other YouTubers, it's like almost everyone almost all of them They say that they say that I'm bad and that I messed up and why I'm crying right now is because I am I am messed up. I don't want to be, and I feel like I don't want to hurt people, and I feel like I do, I do hurt people, and it's kind of strange because I don't, I just don't deal with it correctly, and sorry, I had you. Okay. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like people can't really relate to me because they're not me. But I have watched videos made about me in the past. And actually just two nights ago, I was going through videos made about me by people from, you know, five months ago to a year ago to two years ago to, I was just going down the list of things people have made about me. And I feel bad that I'm causing people to be upset. I was watching this one YouTuber who she's probably going to want to be not named. So I'm not going to name her. And... I was watching her talk about me. And there's been 28 girls talk about me, you know, like, oh, I made this fit, you know. Oh, can I address something too? People think that I, I target women or target girls. I don't, I have nothing against females. I, in terms of the mukbang community, there's two guys, <laughs> like two. Well, maybe three, but he also kind of quit. There's two, like two. And then out of the girls do it. I mean, there might be, I'm, I'm not talking about like the Korean guys. I'm talking about in America, the top American. There's like two. But with females, there's like 67. <laughs> so the, the odds of me fighting or having beef or being upset with, or I actually like the other guys. I mean, I don't, 
it has nothing to do with, oh, you're a female, I'm going after you because you're a female, or I'm having a problem with you because you're a female, or I'm reacting to you and I'm gonna express my disappointment like as I make reaction videos and stuff because you're a female. It just happens that they are. Um, it just happens that they are, I don't, it's kind of just like, the odds are not in my favor. It's like I used to do Irish step dancing and I competed and I don't, I can't tell you how many trophies I have from winning first place in so many of them. And not because I was amazing, amazing. I mean, I was fine, but the boys compete against the boys at the feshes and the girls compete against the girls. Up until you're at like, what level do the guys and girls start competing? Prize winner, novice? No, prize winner was champion. Champion is when they start competing everyone. But until you that tier, which I mean, I quit by the time I was 10, um, cause I wanted to do violin and gosh, my joints would have hated me. <laughs> um, I always compete against the boys. So I would go to these feshes, these Irish step dance competitions and it will be like, okay, here's eight, uh, ages eight through 10 level four. And there'd be like 37 girl, 38 girls lined up in a row to all compete for prizes one, two, three, and four. And then on the other stage would be the boys stage and there would be four boys competing for three spots. I, uh, I, I don't know if that's a good way to explain it. I just want, I just, I just want people to know that I am not going after women for the sake of them being women or that I've had issues with women because I'm a secret woman hater or something. People are saying I'm misogynistic and stuff. I actually had to look up the definition to make sure because some people use words without really knowing the true definitions. I That is not me. That is not me at all. But if you think about the people I've had issues with, all of them have, well, besides one, I'm female, but in the eating world, and most of the issues I've ever had are eating the eating world, the mukbang world, the, you know, eating show world, they're all female anyway. So, and well, at least the majority, you know, 95% of them. So it's, I don't know why, what I was talking about before that, but I did want to make that clear. And I know we're halfway through the video and so, People are gonna be still saying it, but I'm a woman hater and I don't like, no, no. It almost makes me laugh when I hear that. I'm like, what? It, it just, that's, and I don't know what I need to do to prove that to people. Do I need to prove that to people? I know myself, but it also really, there's something that's, there's some things in life that sting because they're true. When I'm watching videos that Nick Akato, um is, terrible and lost and um, he does things for attention and he um, is cruel sometimes and has no self-awareness and when I hear all those things it stings because a lot of it rings true and I'm like I can see in myself that I'm making mistakes I can see it and then I hear some things like Nick is misogynistic I'm like I'm like that's not even a sting because it hurts. It, it makes me ooh, like some, you know, so because I'm just, that's not even what? <laughs> like what? This video is terrible. Oh my gosh, I can't do apologies. It, this is not even an apology video. I was just responding to um, when are you going to stop BSing every day? Oh no, that was the other one. When are we going to get the old Nick back? And I, I want to come back. I want to come back. El Chapo, El Chipo. <laughs> I want to come back. I, I want to come back. And the other person, when we can stop BSing every day. I miss you. I feel like I don't know you. <laughs> That's what people are saying. They feel like they don't know me. Um, and that hurts so bad. That really hurts. When are you gonna drop this act and just go back to eating shows? 
Um, shout out to Bet My Brains. And shout out to Turn Up Beauty. <laughs> I want to come back to how I was. And, um,. hope people can forgive me for my antics and the things I said about those people. Um, I never meant to lump a whole everyone who enjoys K-pop into one sentence and the whole Kobe Bryant thing. I, I would never ever want, but it's, sometimes it's not about your intentions. You still do it whether you intend to or not. And that is where I've messed up because I know I didn't intend to make people upset for the basketball player thing, but I did. Whether I intended it or not, I still did. And that's what being an adult is about. Knowing that, oh, I'm making these people really hurt more um, because they miss this person so much because they looked up to him or maybe they had his, po their, his poster on the wall or they got front row seats to his basketball game because, you know, that was their last moment with their grandfather before he passed and that's special and they had the tickets framed and put up you know on their dresser and they look at it each day as they get ready for work you know little special things like that like this is people's lives and emotions and i'm over here saying i don't care <laughs> and i have no self-awareness and i'm so sorry i am so 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 sorry and um, this is probably a terrible apology. You're, uh, this is probably not how it's supposed to go. People are gonna say that uh, it's too late or it's not long enough or it's not genuine or you're doing it just to save face. Well, then if I didn't apologize at all, then I would be a monster. I mean, I, I don't know, you can't win. You're damned if you do, damned if you don't. But this is just me right now. This is just me. And um, let me go change the battery, I'll be right. And I was just having a moment too, where I'm like, if tomorrow was my last day, yeah, you guys, if tomorrow was my last day, hi. If tomorrow was my last day, I would be full of regret. So that's why I'm making this video right now. I mean, that's not the reason. The reason is I'm really upset and I'm sorry, but uh, it's also like, if tomorrow was my last day, I feel like when they say energy never dies, that's also a law of physics or whatever, or science, I don't even know. That's what Orland says. Energy never dies. It's impossible. It's impossible. And my energy inside of me is very um, broken, a little guilty, a little regret. A little sadness, a lot of embarrassment, a lot of struggle, some resentment, and disparity. That's it. <laughs> This comes from Friona. If you had a chance to start your life all over, what would you, what would you change first? <sighs> no, it's really sad. And people are gonna say that again, I'm trying to use this as an excuse. And I'm also really sad that I'm even saying this out loud because it's embarrassing because I've always, Being adopted has brought so much joy into my life. Because if I wasn't adopted, my life, statistically speaking, would be a lot worse. Where I, where I come from, from Eastern Europe. Um, I think I was blessed with more riches because of that adoption. 
Having said that, a lot of my issues mentally stem because of that occurrence. And so that's why I'm embarrassed to voice this because I'm a big, I mean, I'm not like an actual advocate in the streets or something, but if people come up to me and be like, oh, should I adopt your like, Yes, adopt. <laughs> yes, you're giving someone an opportunity. You're giving them a chance. But they might be a little broken, just a little bit, just a little bit. And that's also, on the other hand, think about how many broken people there are in this world and most of them aren't adopted. So that's also you need to put out there too. <sighs> think of all the other people out there that are like off their rocker and really upset and needing help with their lives and they're not adopted. So don't think it's like, oh my gosh. So that's why I really don't, I don't even want to say that because people who are anti-adoption, who's anti-adoption? I know people are like, don't want to say the word on camera, but you know. Um, oh, that's realistic. <laughs> so are there people who are anti-adoption? Maybe there are. I think Trisha kind of alluded to it. Not anti, but like concerned because they'll turn out like me. <sighs> Shouldn't say it in a mean way. She was just curious. And I think it's normal. A lot of people are like, oh no. <laughs> like it sounds good and all, but they're gonna burn your house down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that type. But when Tona asks me, what would be the first thing I change? I almost want to say that, which sounds awful, but I wouldn't want to grow up in Ukraine, I don't think. I don't think I would want to grow up there. I wish I was born in the US, and isn't that everyone's? Unless you're in the US, don't most people around the world wish they were born in the US? I don't know. I mean, I lived in Colombia, I've lived in Asian countries, I lived in Mexico, they all, listen, they all want to be there. They all want that opportunity and that chance. And people, us Americans, we take all that for granted. We're like, oh. And yeah, we're having our issues, but it's still a lot better than other places. And when I say we issues, I mean like the country. Spill the tea, which YouTuber do you disagree with most? Um, it's hard to say, actually. And I actually, I enjoy watching people I disagree with. Um, that's a part of me that I don't really share on, on my channel too often, is that I'm very inquisitory and very, like, curious. I like to learn. I'm very, I don't say nosy, but I'm very, like, I ask questions. I like to challenge my own thoughts. It's part of my like smart side. I know you might, all the haters don't think I'm smart, but I do have a smart side. Um, yeah, so I watch all the channels I disagree with. So who do I agree with, disagree with the most? I mean, I watch political channels. I watch um, opinions channels. I watch different health guru channels I disagree with. And I'm j I like to just learn from watching things I don't necessarily agree with. It's a type of either solidifying what I know. Sometimes I've changed my mind by watching them. I don't know, I think it's a, just, I don't know.
Um, A lot of these questions are nice, and I kind of don't want to just read things that are nice about me, or... I kind of want to make sure this is very, like... And this is Twitter, so there's nothing that's, like, censored or blocked, I mean... You know what I mean, like... I'm sorry, this is such a waste of time. Tips for insomnia? It's currently 5 a.m., help me. Oh. Will you stay in Orlando forever? No, I'm always moving. I've moved five times. I mean, I'm always moving. There's a lot of people who are following me now who are like into like adult content. It's very interesting. They're all coming from my only fans. It, I don't know, I don't care, but it's interesting. Oh my God. Future collabs, no. I mean, yes, I'm going to have more. There's some people I would love to repeat my collaborate. I just need a good couple more weeks before I even think about that. If I can get my life back on track for everybody. Sorry, I'm still looking for comments that are like actually questioning. I might edit all this out. Are you on prep? No. <laughs> That's funny. Why do you keep doing videos saying it's the last one, then the next day post another one saying it's the last one? Is that is that what's clickbait? It annoys me, um, but I think it brings some people to your channel. Um, this comes from Christina. I have, I address this on you now. I have, over the years, had times where I just want to quit. Especially the worst time I've ever had to face any type of anything and really just say, this is not even worth it, was when I was getting deported. That was the first thing that really broke up. I don't say my family, but just, I mean, physically it did. I was booted out of there, but it was the, that was the first major thing. And I remember thinking like, is this worth it? Shoot, is this even worth it? Now I seem to be questioning that every day. And I, uh, I'm asking myself, is this worth it over and over? I'm not clickbaiting people. I actually want it to be over. And there's days where I've gone to sleep saying, I'm done. And then I wake up I'm like, well, who would walk away from this many people? You could do great things with this many people, this following. Who's gonna walk away? From this is how I make money. I could get a job. Who's gonna hire me after all the stuff I've put out on the internet? Who's gonna hire me now? I look that I have rent to pay, I have health insurance now, I have my car insurance, I have to pay for my car, I have to pay for my cell phone, I have to pay for food, I have to pay, like, money, money, money. <sighs> There's times where I want to so bad. And so that's why 
I would rather change the direction of where I'm going rather than just walk away completely because this seems to be all I really have in terms of surviving. Um, no one's gonna, no one's gonna paint my way, you know, I'm not, I mean, some people, they get that, but, you know, they come from wealthier families or whatever, and even so, like, it comes to an extent where the parents are like, okay, it's okay, Bobby, you gotta get your own job now, like, it, uh, so I'd rather change the direction of my channel. I feel like the way to start that is by doing videos like this where I really express myself and I let you know that. Y'all aren't wrong when you say that I am a bad person or I'm disgusting or I am crazy or I'm right there too. It's almost like when I want to hear this reaction and it's like a part of me leaves myself and I'm looking at myself from outside myself. I'm like, you are trash. How many pounds do you weigh? <clears throat> when will you put on your eyelashes again? Did Michelle Obama really say pizza is a vegetable? I think she did, but it might be a joke. I heard that somewhere. <sighs> I heard that somewhere. I don't know if she was, I mean, Michelle Obama doesn't really joke or troll, does she? Maybe, I don't know, maybe she did. I heard it somewhere where they consider pizza a vegetable. <laughs> I don't know. I never fact checked it, I just thought it was funny. Someone said she's gonna run for president. I don't think she will. Do you seriously believe that all your followers are your fans? No, I don't. I hope I never said that. If I did, I was clearly not thinking clearly or... Did I ever say that all of my followers are fans? No, I hope I didn't. I've also been, I've been very aware that people follow me for very various different reasons. There are people who follow me just to see me cry. And I remember actually a couple of months ago, before I went to Los Angeles, I remember people were like, it's time for a break now. We are waiting, girl. And people are like, it's been, some person was doing like a breakdown countdown. <laughs> like just waiting for it. They're like, it's been 27 days. It's been 22 days. It's been 18 days. Uh, 19, day 19 without a, a breakdown. Like, I know that there's people who are there for that. And I'm not gonna do it just because they say it. I have to actually be sad about something. I have to want to grab the camera and to embarrass myself even more and say, this is what I'm going through. But I don't just make it up. And that's why sometimes, last week, it was every freaking day. And then two, three more, four months ago, it was a span of six weeks before anything even happened. <sighs> Here's another question to loop with this. Why are you so dramatic? I just am. When will you stop being pro problematic? Also, I love you. And this comes from BTS Pop. BTS Pop. There's someone who loves me from BTS, unless they're joking and I just fell for it. But I like hearing that and it makes me say, wow, I really just dissed people. I like how I said I'm not gonna eat that much and look at me. I'm gonna go on the treadmill. so bad right now.
Shout out to Brianna, thank you. Pros and cons to YouTube. This comes from M Fresh. I don't want to speak for all of YouTube or all YouTubers. I'm just going to talk about me. So let's look at my channel and let's talk about the pros and the cons. The pros, I am my own boss. I get to decide if I feel like uploading daily or uploading monthly. Um, I get to create stuff. I get to make people laugh. I get to make people entertained. I get to make people curious. I get to make people excited for another one of my videos, whether I'm silly and stupid or serious and calm. I get to share the love of eating as what connects all human beings. Um, I get to show the world that gay couples are just as human as straight couples. <laughs> they will still have fights and ups and downs. We are no much better or worse. I think they say statistically they stay together, together longer. But I don't know. I, I like being able to show people that I'm not superior or inferior to your relationships. And I feel like I do inspire some people to not necessarily come out of the closet, but just kind of know that it, they're not the only ones who are attracted to the same sex. I also... What's another pro? That was a good one. <laughs> oh my god, I need to stop eating. This is my last bite. Here we go. Let's put it into some syrup. That was not a fart. That was the chair. Ah! Well, I have a whole list of cons. Are you ready for it? I don't want to say this is not for all YouTubers. This is for me. It's very, the first thing is it's very hard to make new friends. Very, very hard. To the point where I just can't. Which is why my best friend is Orlin. And again, if I didn't have him, I think I would have definitely gone insane by now or qu actually quit. See, another reason I don't quit, I say I'm quitting and then I never do it, is because I think of my family. Um, I think of our future. I think of... I think of him. Like, I would love to have my own yard one day so you can have some fruit trees. I mean, he's... He wants a garden, you know, it's like... <sighs> and he doesn't even ask for, my husband doesn't even ask for anything major. He just like, one day I would like a backyard. One day, I mean, we'll be going out and he'll be like looking at the trees. And we deliberately take trips to the nature park so he can look around at the trees, look at the lake. You know, he, that's just him, you know. It's, I'm not gonna stop just cause that'd be kind of selfish too. I just, I get joy out of making sure he's happy and I don't do that enough. So quitting won't, I mean, in a way quitting would make us happier, I guess as a couple, but in terms of supporting ourselves, I guess it sounds like we're kind of trapped and I don't want you guys to feel like we are or feel like you have to tune in more to see what happens next. It's not like we're trapped and this is, a crazy show like you know it's I'm kind of starting to feel food coma right now everybody so if I'm not making sense I'm really sorry yeah <clears throat> excuse me another con would be besides friendships being difficult to make would be leaving YouTube again again not all youtubers my channel for me if I were to leave YouTube and pursue any other profession, they're gonna look at this and decide if they want me representing their company. So, oh my God, I am trapped. <laughs> now I really sound trapped. <clears throat> um, 
that's bad. Again, not all YouTubers are in this boat. I put myself in this boat. Again, that's why I hate myself. Oh gosh, I'm so bad. I literally have made it worse for myself, that's for sure. Well, there's that. Um, cons would be having to face criticism, having to face people being mean for no reason, or just people who get enjoyment out of seeing you sad. Um, another thing would be, I feel like I have to hurry up this video. This video has been so long. Another thing would be the the pay, and well for me, I can't, again, this is for my channel, not all the channels. It's all over the place. It's so inconsistent. Very, very inconsistent. And it's just not consistent. I wish it was good. I wish it was like clock in, clock out. No matter what happens, I'm getting paid for being here. That's not the case, you know? So very inconsistent. Like, I can't tell you what I'm gonna make in two months. I can't tell you. I don't know. So there's that. That's also kind of like a little worrisome, a lot of worrisome. Um, I'm gonna get going. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being here. This video was a mess. But it was delicious. Wow, I am a mess. I really shouldn't have had marinara sauce. What was I thinking? Oh, ranch and, no, oh, no, no. Ranch and cheese sticks, yes. This video is really messed up. I'm so sorry. Also, can you please, we're at the end of the video. I'm looking for a sulfite, sulfur free wine to purchase. Um, I should just Google it, which I will. But I'm curious to know. Wow, I'm in such a food coma. I'm like, uh, wish me luck today. Wait, this came in. Wish me luck, okay? Um, I'm really in the food coma. I don't know if you can tell. But this, oh please, yeah, okay. Let me know a good sulfur, sulfur free wine. I'm gonna Google it, but I'm curious to know. I'd rather hear from my followers. Now I'm not gonna say fans, followers. Because you're right, people are following me for all different reasons. Thank you for your time, I appreciate it. I am so sorry that I've let so many people down. And the worst of it is that I've let myself down. And I really shouldn't have acted the way I did. And I can see it now. I mean, I can look back and look at it and be upset with it. And the only thing I can do is to move forward with effort, making positive steps to change what I don't like to see, what I don't like in myself. Like I don't like what I see, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna make effort to change it. And it may take a long time for people to come around again or for people to see that I've made changes. Um, and I feel like I have help now. I'm on medication now. I'm making dietary change, well, this <laughs> Off camp, I always have been very healthy off camera, but we're making it even stricter. Me and Orlin, boom, we're making it stricter. I'm making various changes so that I have something to back up my word. So I'm not just sitting here saying, I'm so sorry. I wanna sit here and say, I'm sorry, and this is what I'm doing to change it. And um, this video is just part one. Shoot, we have to go down. I thought there was gonna be more questions about different things, to be honest with you. I didn't think, um, I don't know. I thought it would be a lot more. I mean, yeah, people are saying they're disappointed they want the old Nick back, but I thought it would be more accusatory, like, 
you said this, or you did this, or why did you do, you know, I, I so, yeah, so this is literally part one to that. And I'm just ready, as people are wanting, to get the old dick back, because he is here. He's here, he's just trapped under a lot of blubber. And I'm not talking about my appearance, I'm, not, I'm talking about my heart. My heart is also in blubber. I'm gonna go on the treadmill, even though I'm exhausted. Goodbye, and thank you for your time.